Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. This video is a tutorial on Dropbox business. In this video, we will talk all about this platform called Dropbox. We will talk about its features and benefits of using Dropbox business. Then we will also show you the membership plans, the sign up and account setup processes, and we will do a walkthrough of the dashboard. We will also show you how to create files on Dropbox business and share it with anyone. Make sure you're watching this video till the end. For now, we are beginning with an introduction to what Dropbox is. As you can see, we're on the home page of Dropbox. It is nothing but a file hosting service. Since Dropbox is a cloud-based platform, it can help you access your files and content from anywhere, be it any device or location you are at. So as I said earlier, we are on Dropbox's home page. You can see that what it provides is cloud storage and sharing. It also provides e-signature, document tracking, backup. It simply makes your life with content online easier. If you hover your cursor on the products tab at the top navigation bar, you can see that Dropbox is not just about storage. You can do a lot more like backup, sign, doc send, capture. These are all the other features apart from Dropbox's main storage, sharing and access file feature. If you hover your cursor on solutions, you can see that Dropbox caters to many industries like creatives, sales, marketing, HR, IT, team lead, and also for personal use. Now let's look at the pricing on Dropbox. For that, click on pricing next to solutions on the top navigation bar. As you can see, we have landed on the pricing page. If you toggle your view between these two, you can see that the yearly plans are much lesser than the ones billed monthly. And these are all the plans available currently on Dropbox. First is the plus plan for individuals available at $9.99 per month in which you get 2 TB storage and it is for one user. For households, the plan recommended is family, which is at $16.99 per month and you get 2 TB of storage and you can add up to 6 users. For solo workers, there is the professional plan, which comes at $16.58 per month with 3 TB storage and for one user. If you scroll down, you can see that the one popular plan from Dropbox is the standard plan which applies to growing teams and it comes at $15 per user per month in which you get 5 TB storage and more than 3 users. For complex teams, the plan is advanced and it comes at $24 per user per month and you get as much space as you need and more than 3 users can use it. For larger organizations, there comes the enterprise plan, but to know about its pricing, you need to contact the sales team. If you want to see a more comprehensive view comparing all the features of the different plans, you can do that by scrolling down further. And again, if you toggle the view over here, you will see that the rates change and scroll down to compare all the features properly. We're going ahead with the standard plan. So whichever plan you choose, you just need to click the button below it. So we're going to click on try for free over here underneath the standard plan. Next comes the sign up process. You first need to give in your first name and last name, then give in your email address and then put in a password. Following that, you can put in a team name. We're going to use something like this. Select your country from the drop down menu over here and then scroll down and you'll be given two options for the trial plan. One is the standard and then there is the advanced. We're going with the standard plan, then tick this box and then click on start free trial. You can see that on the top of the page, there is a message saying your team has been created. The next step is to verify our email address. So simply go to your email. This is how the email from Dropbox will look like. All you need to do is click on verify your email. And you can see that after verifying your email, you'll be taken to this page where you will have to complete four steps for your account setup. We are on the first step where it asks you how many people are part of your company or team. We're going with the multiple option over here. Then it takes you to the second question where you need to select what type of work do you mostly do and you've got all these options over here like there are different categories basically 
from accounting, education, healthcare, freelance to media entertainment, project management, sales, business development, etc. Let's continue with this one. After that, you'll be taken to step number three, where it is asking you who will you share or collaborate with most. And you've got all these options over here. Let's go ahead with this one. And then you'll be taken to the last step where you need to download. So if you click this download button, you'll be taken to the download page where you can download the desktop app for Dropbox. Let's go ahead and click on remind me later for now. And then you'll be taken to your dashboard. Let's do a quick walkthrough of this dashboard on the left sidebar. You can see that there are various options. The first is all files and underneath that you can see this is your name appearing over here. Since we don't have any files, it is empty. Then there is the recent tab, start tab, signatures, shared file requests, deleted files and the admin console. On the top, you can see there is a search bar where you can search through your files. And if you click this icon over here at the top left corner, you will get all these options. At the top right side, you can see your account where you can see and access all these pages. And then there is the see what's new icon. On the right side, you can see this is your workspace. As you can see over here, we have Zoya creators. So if you want, you can add or invite team members over here by clicking this button. Let's just move it out for now. Now in the center, you can see that these are all some suggested folders that if you want, you can create by simply clicking the create button next to them. And this is your own folder with your name on it. So if you upload any file, it will go automatically to this folder. To upload a file, you need to click this button. And if you click on create, you have all these options like folder, automated folder, screen recording. Then there is document, presentation, spreadsheet and more. If you click on the three dots over here, you've got other options like show deleted files and rewind this folder. Let's go to the shared tab on the left sidebar. If you create a folder over here, it will be called a shared folder. So let's go ahead and create a shared folder by hitting the create shared folder button over here. Let's name this design and you can invite somebody over here by putting their email. And then next to it, you can see that there is this drop down and you can give access permissions like this person can edit whatever is there in this folder or they can simply just view it. Now we are making the option as edit option. So this person can edit. You can also add an, a message which is optional and then click the share button. So the folder has been created with a shared option and it is being shared with one person. So you can see there are two people over here. One is myself and one is the person I have shared it with. So inside this itself, you have all these options. You can organize the files like this. And again, if you click the create button, you will get all these options to create within this shared folder. Now, if you go to the all files section on the left side, you can see that this is what we have created right now. Now, if you want to create a document inside a folder, you simply click the folder, go to the create button and create a document by using these various options. So that is basically how you can create a shared folder within your Dropbox for your workspace and share it with your teammates. So this is basically how you can use Dropbox for your business. With that, we have completed this tutorial. We truly hope it has benefited you. If you have any suggestions or want us to make a video on any specific topic, do let us know in the comment section below. We will catch you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed.